Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. Welcome to today's How to Sell Millions of Dollars of T-Shirts webinar training. And I'm super excited to kind of go over the entire T-Shirt print on demand business with you today. I'm going to show you literally every single step in the process for you to get started with what I believe is by far the best business opportunity of the year. And I'm going to go over kind of the introduction to this business uh, just before we get started on the over the shoulder stuff. And I'm going to show you really why t-shirt print on demand with Shopify is by far the best business opportunity that's out there. And you see the agenda on the screen today, we're going to be covering a lot, I'm literally going to teach you every single thing you need to know to get into this business. And if you pay attention, you're literally going to be able to build your own t-shirt print on demand store right after this webinar. And you're going to hear me say this over and over and over, there's not going to be one technologically challenging thing that you're going to need to do. There's not going to be any code to look at, you're not going to need to hire a programmer or a developer. All right, you're going to be able to get your store set up. I'm going to share some extended free trial links with uh, for you today. You're going to be able to get your entire store set up fully up and running, full speed, not any trial features or anything like that. The full t-shirt print-on-demand business, you'll be able to get started for literally $0 out of pocket with these free extended trials. So again, pay attention. I'm going to show you everything there is to know to get started in this business. And um, I want to kind of hear from you guys first. Give me a one in the chat box if you've at least heard of the t-shirt print-on-demand business, right? You don't, you don't need to be an expert in it. You don't even need to have tried it. I just want to know, who am I talking to? Have you heard of the t-shirt print-on-demand business? Let me see a one in the chat box. And I've seen a lot of ones from most, most of you guys in here. And I think a lot of you have definitely heard of this business. This business has been around for uh, a couple of years now. And I think that definitely shows that it's not a fad business, right? A lot of people think, oh, you know, is this just kind of the next uh, fad business that will jump through every, you know, couple of months? No, not at all. I mean, I've been working on t-shirt print on demand since late 2013. It's a life-changing business. It's a great lifestyle business as well. And uh, you're going to see all of that as I go through this. So uh, definitely um, uh, most of you have heard of it. Right now, I'll ask a follow-up question. Give me a two in the chat box if you've actually ever tried t-shirt print on demand, right? Have you actually ever built a store? Have you run any campaigns? Have you tried to sell t-shirts or hoodies or hats or any of the other print on demand items? And not that many twos, okay? A couple of people have tried it. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Sean says, tried it, failed. Uh, Christina says, tried it, but I sucked. That's okay, Christina. I'm going to show you some great ways to get back into it. And again, this is really the best business opportunity of the year, the best business model that's out there for a variety of reasons. So uh, let's jump into it now. We're going to talk about, uh, we're kind of talking about the overall idea of the t-shirt print on demand business. And again, print on demand with Shopify, it's the best business opportunity of the year. And, and really nothing even comes close, right? Nothing even comes close in terms of this. And I'm going to show you all the reasons why this business is so great. But this is how the business basically looks, right? You're going to have a design file, right? You're going to have a file, typically like a JPEG file is, you know, when you have a, a photo, it would be a JPEG. This would be in a .png file, right? But the bottom line is you're going to have a digital design file, and that's going to be your inventory, right? You're never going to have actual t-shirts sitting in your garage or in your warehouse or anywhere, right? In fact, these t-shirts will never even exist until they're ordered, right? That's the print-on-demand portion of this business. You start with a design file. Basically, you show that representation of the t-shirt on your site. It doesn't exist anywhere. It's not in anyone's warehouse or anything like that. It's just a digital representation of what the t-shirt looks like. And once someone orders it, that's when the item is produced, right? That's print on demand. When is it demanded? Well, it's demanded when it's ordered. And what happens when something is ordered, right? As a store owner, when you receive an order, what happens? Well, you get paid, right? And this is where the light bulb moment happens in this business model. This is why everyone should be really just super excited about this business model. It's fully cash flow positive from day one, right? Again, t-shirt print on demand, <clears throat> the on demand portion of this, the products do not exist until they're ordered, right? And once they're ordered, that means you've already received payment for them, right? You see where I'm going here. You're receiving payment up front, then you're getting the items produced, right? That's t-shirt print on demand. And, and that's just a, a small uh, uh, window of that, right? Because once the order is placed, your job is done. I always joke with my t-shirt bootcamp students, you know, once you make a sale with t-shirt print on demand, what do you do? Right? Go ahead and answer that in the question box if you can right now. What do you do once you make a sale with t-shirt print on demand? Right? And, uh, uh, Let's see, Andrew, I'm not picking on you. Andrew says, fulfill the order. Uh, you don't even need to do that, right? It's going to happen automatically, right? Venmo says the same thing, fulfill it. Sean says, get paid. Get paid is definitely right, right? And, and I always joke with my students to say, well, once you make a sale, you get to sit back, relax, and watch your bank account increase because your job is done, right? Once you make a sale with Shopify t-shirt print on demand, your job is done. You literally have to do zero. And why is that? Well, that's because your t-shirt print on demand partner steps in here automatically, and does all the following. They're going to receive the order information automatically, 
right? They're going to start printing the T-shirt or whatever the product is, the hat, hoodie, uh, cell phone case. There's over 300 different products that are out there. They're going to start printing that product, right? They're going to stick it in a bubble mailer and they're going to ship it off to your customer. And they're even going to email your customer on your behalf and saying, hey, your order was shipped. Here's the tracking information. Here's the link for you to track it, right? Literally, you don't have to do anything except count your money once the sale is done. And that's why T-shirt print on demand is such an incredible business. And why is this business so great? Well, there's more, there's more to it, right? Easy to get started, right? And you're going to see this today. We're going to build a Shopify store in one hour, right? Fully integrated, fully ready to go in one hour. Super easy to get started. And you need zero experience to get into this business. I always tell people, if you're looking to make your first dollar online, this is definitely the business that you need to be in, right? This is a very easy to understand business. It's e-commerce, right? We're just selling products. And what is a product? Well, mostly t-shirts and apparel, right? Products that we all understand, products that we all have 100 or 150 copies of, in our closet or in our bedroom, dresser drawers, whatever. And probably over the next year, you're going to buy another 50 pieces of apparel as well. So again, not a fad business whatsoever, a business where you don't need experience to kind of understand what's going on. And on top of that, you need zero technical skill to get into this business or to run this business as well. And that's a huge thing here, right? A huge thing here. We're never going to need to look at code. We're never going to need to hire a developer. We're never going to need to learn HTML or CSS or JavaScript or PHP or any of that stuff, right? No technical skill required to run this business. And again, cash flow positive from day one, right? You can't get it any better than that. Cash flow positive from day one, low startup costs, right? I'm going to show you today. We'll literally get our store up and running without even taking our credit card out yet. And of course, turnkey automation. That's really the most amazing part of t-shirt print on demand. Once you make the sale, your job is done. Everything is automated from that part. You don't even need to send the order information to your t-shirt print on demand partner. And don't worry, we're going to go through all that during the setup phase of this training webinar. And uh, last but certainly not least, <clears throat> never spend a dollar on inventory, right? Fully cash flow positive from day one. You're never owning a t-shirt. You're never even touching a t-shirt, right? I've sold hundreds of thousands of t-shirts. I've never sold or uh, I've never touched or shipped one myself, right? Happens all automatically through t-shirt print on demand. You're not going to have to have a warehouse or a staff, you know, or you don't have to worry about keeping the right sizes or colors in stock or keeping hoodies in stock during the winter and tank tops in stock during the summer. Your print on demand partner is going to do all of that for you, right? All of that for you. And, you know, those are just some of the reasons why this business is so great. And, you know, this is not just a, a kind of hobby business, right? Take a look at some of, you know, the 300 plus success uh, uh, student success stories that we've had that have come out of the boot camp. You see Austin over here, he says, literally, I knew nothing about the T-shirt business. Uh, 30 days later, he did $4,500 in revenue. You see about two months later, he says, this store isn't even two months old, did $45,000 in revenue. So ton of upside, you know, you can go through and then see, you know, countless stories about people going through the boot camp and just crushing it out. Miranda doing $100,000 months, Michael with $10,000 months, Savam doing $1,000 days, Sebastian $2,100 days. And here's just a couple of stores that I've done, you know, you see a $10,000 day here, you see close to a $500,000 month. And, uh, you know, again, massive upside when you're in this business, right? And I developed a simple four-step system to master this t-shirt print on demand business. And the best part is anyone can do this. And I'm going to show you literally when I mean anyone can do this, anyone is exactly you. You can do this. You can literally watch what I'm going to show you today over the shoulder. And I'll head back over into the agenda here. You're going to watch what I do here. And you're literally going to be able to figure out how to get into this business tonight, right? And if you don't want to do it tonight, do it this weekend or do it, you know, tomorrow, whatever, right? But it's not going to be anything that is overwhelming. You're going to literally be able to get your store up and running in less than a day. I don't care if you have zero experience or zero technical skill, doesn't matter, right? You'll be able to get your store up and running. So how does that sound, guys? Give me an eight in the chat box if you're pumped up, if you're ready to see this training, if you're ready to see every single step that you need to get into this business. Let me see those eights in the chat box right now. And here we go. Scott's pumped up. He says, oh, yeah, and I see eights from Yasmin and Christina and uh, Fred and Sean and Tiffany and uh, Fingier and Venmo and uh, Aldridge. And Yasmin just gave 720,000 eights. And there we go. Uh, Alfred Alfred just sent over 2.6 million eights in the chat box. So I think he's pretty excited. It looks like everyone's excited. Kevin says crazy 1,000 eights like that. Eddie says ultimate eight. And uh, there we go, guys. I, I'm glad that everyone's pumped up because really this is a business that you should certainly be excited about, right? This is a business that really you should be jumping in or, or that you can't wait to jump in with both feet, jumping in full speed, getting into this business because, again, it is the best business opportunity of the year. So here we go. First thing up on the agenda is niche selection, right? Niche selection. Basically, what are you going to sell in your store? What is the subject of your store? Are you going to be selling t-shirts and print on demand items like hoodies and hats and sweatpants and backpacks and beach towels and all this great stuff? But what is a niche, right? 
And that's going to be something like a dog or a cat, right? I have a cat store. You've seen nurse stores. You've seen golf stores. You've seen tennis stores. The main thing to think about when you're talking about a niche is passion, right? And in fact, there's really only two requirements for picking a niche. Number one, you want to pick a niche that's based on passion. And I'm going to show you a little list right now of 40 hot niches that you could use for your Shopify t-shirt store. And I'll bring this little list over here. And you're going to see one thing that, uh, that is kind of uh, uh, an apparent theme for all of these potential niches, and they all have to do with passion, right? And passion is uh, so important here because passion is the direct route to a customer's credit card, right? You're not going to be able to sell t-shirts about oil changes or, you know, uh, doing your taxes in April, right? But you can definitely sell t-shirts about cats or you can definitely sell t-shirts to people that love movies or love muscle cars or love triathlons or love being a nurse or uh, love chickens or love reading, et cetera, et cetera, right? You want to think about what people like. You want to think about their hobbies, their interests, you know, what, what they are uh, uh, effectively going to be proud to slap on their chest, right? Because when you sell a t-shirt, you basically need someone to buy into the fact that they're going to be a walking billboard for what's ever on their chest, right? And print on demand is definitely more than just t-shirts, but the idea remains the same, right? We need to hook into passion. And these are examples of 40 hot niches. And requirement number one out of the two requirements for picking a niche, again, it's super easy to get into this business, right? It's only two, two prerequisites for getting started. Number one, pick a passionate niche, right? You can pick any niche on this list. You can pick any niche that has passion involved in it. Okay. That's number one. And actually I want to hear from you guys. What niches are you guys considering, right? Go ahead and post in the question box. What niche are you considering? I want to hear from you guys. I see nurse and doctor. I see psychology. I see dogs. I see cats, pit bulls. Uh, okay. Astronomy. That's a great one. MMA says Yasmin. Sean says exercising and fitness. Uh, Scott says nurse. Tiffany says guitars. Terry says motivational. Eddie says beer and drinking. Great. All of these are great, right? Christina says family, grandparents, sports moms. Great. These are perfect niches. And they're perfect because they are passion based, right? People are passionate about all these subjects. No one gave a bad answer like, um, you know, acne cream, right? You don't, you're not gonna make a t shirt about acne cream, right? No one's gonna buy uh, print on demand about acne cream, but they'll definitely buy print on demand items like a t shirt or a hat or a cell phone case about guitars, right? Or about cats or about MMA, or about sports, or whatever, right? So those are great ways, those are great things to pick when you're thinking about your niche, right? Always think about passion. That's requirement number one, okay? And, <coughs> excuse me, requirement number two is even easier, right? Number one, we pick a passion niche. Number two, we just want to make sure that we have a niche that has enough upside, which means we need to find a niche where there are at least 500,000 people on it in Facebook, okay? And really, we'd want to find even bigger. We'd love to be, you know, in the millions in terms of size, for our niche. And uh, again, we just need to be over 500,000. And how are we going to do that? How are we going to prove uh, that this niche that we're thinking about is worthwhile? Well, we're going to go into Facebook ads, and we're going to go to a free tool called Audience Insights. Okay, Audience Insights basically looks at the demographics inside of Facebook. Okay, It's going to look at who is on Facebook, who's targetable with Facebook ads, because Facebook ads is going to be the way that you drive traffic for your t-shirt print on demand store. So you come into this audience insights tool. And you literally come right into this interest box. This couldn't be easier. You just type in your niche. If you're doing cats, go ahead and type in cats. And you're going to see up here, 35 million people every single month are into cats on Facebook. Okay, that's 70 times the minimum, right? 70 times the minimum of what we wanted to see. So clearly, there's enough upside in this niche to make it worth our while, right? If we go in there, and we see something that says like, you know, 13,000 people in the niche, well, that's not enough, right? If you're going to pick a niche like underwater basket weaving, where it's you and only three other people in the world, that like it, then you're not going to be able to sell t-shirts in that niche. Okay, you want to pick a niche that has big upside. And uh, let me run through a couple of the ones that you had, you guys had posted in there, right? Scott said, uh, let's see, Scott said nurse. So we could type in nurse, for example, registered nurse, there's 2 million registered nurses on Facebook every single month. Let's see another one. Uh, how about uh, Yasmin said MMA? Okay, come and do MMA over here. Uh, we probably will want to spell it out. Okay, we'll find it. We'll find it some way. MMA owner over here. There's going to be different types of uh, of ways in here. Let me just reload this because Facebook sometimes acts a little weird when you do all these searches. Oops. Okay, we'll just try that one for example. One and a half million people into lightweight MMA, right? So you're going to find tons of other uh, variations, right? Tons of other variations off the here. Here's mixed martial arts, right? I told you Facebook is weird sometimes. You just need to reload this. Fifteen million people every single month are into mixed martial arts right? Huge, huge, huge niche, right? Huge niche. I think any of the niches that were mentioned so far are going to be big, right? Golf, we don't even need to do this research, right? 20 million people every month are into golf, right? Any of the big niches like, you know, golf, guitar, beer, MMA, 
um, fix, fitness, cats, dogs, even dog breeds, right? They're going to be huge. You don't even really need to do this research. You know that big niches are passionate, right? Maybe if you have a little bit smaller of a niche, for example, astronomy, right? It's still going to be a big one, right? You see over here, 20 million people every single month are into astronomy, right? Not necessarily a mainstream niche, but there you go. 20 million people are into astronomy, which means tons of upside. That's 40 times the minimum. Again, two requirements for picking a niche. <coughs> Number one, passion, right? Number two, size. That's it. Passion and size, right? You want to have a passionate niche with at least 500,000 people on it, right? And Lewis says, what if you want a sub niche? I think Lewis is making fun of me because he says, what if you want to target people who walk their cats? I think you must have seen a video of me. I walk my cats every single day. Uh, Lewis, I appreciate you paying attention. If you want to do a sub niche, right? And cats not going to really work with a sub niche, but dog sub niche uh, definitely works, right? Tons of different breeds, right? Medical field, definitely tons of different breeds, right? Medical field, you could, I mean, not breeds, but different sub niches, right? Uh, nurse, dentist, doctor, surgeon, etc. right? Fitness, lots of different sub niches, bodybuilding, CrossFit, cardio, etc. right? Cats, not really, right? Cats, people aren't really breaking them down into breeds, at least not big enough to target, right? But dogs, definitely, right? Dogs, definitely. That's a great question, right? And I see another great follow-up question about niches, right? Do you want to have one niche per store or multiple niches in one store? So basically, are you going to have a niche store or a general store? There's no doubt in my mind you want to have a niche store, right? You want to absolutely have a niche store. If I spend a dollar on advertising to a niche store and you spend a dollar on advertising to a general store, I'll make more money than you will, right? And it's because of the fact that you are sending traffic to a fully branded environment. In fact, we're going to build a niche store today and we're going to brand it so it looks and, uh, and acts like a store that completely speaks to the people in that niche, right? We're going to build a pug store today, right? The, the, the breed of dog, pugs, right? You're all familiar with it. We're going to build a store there. And the whole goal for the store is that we want to make people who like pugs, when they get to the site, we want them to nod their head in agreement. We want to say, yep, this place speaks my language. I like pugs. This site is clearly all about pugs. I'm in the right place. And, you know, subconsciously, that means the credit card is going to come out a little bit easier. And remember, that's the name of the game, right? We need customers to take, our, to take their credit cards out of their wallet and purchase our product. So that was actually already step one, right? That was niche selection, not at all rocket science, right? Two requirements, passion and size, okay? And uh, let me just show you, since we're going to do the pug niche today, I'll come over here. And, uh, you know, before I would start, I'd want to make sure that there's enough upside here in the pug niche. And you see here, there are one and a half million people interested in pugs every single month. Okay. And again, my minimum is 500,000. So I'm three times over the minimum of what I want to see for size. And I know people are passionate about dogs, right? They're definitely passionate about pugs. So there you go. I've checked off the two prerequisites. Now I'm going to move on to the next step. I've already selected my niche. Now I'm going to go forward and actually do the next step, which is all about platform and partners, right? This is where we're going to actually build our Shopify site, right? And this is where I'm going to share one of those extended free trial links that I mentioned earlier. You see it highlighted on your screen right now, shopify.justincener.com, right? That's going to give you 10% off every single month of your Shopify store. And it's also going to give you an extended 21-day free trial. Now, first of all, you're not going to see anything about this when you go to this link. You're not going to see my name. You're not going to see the discount, but I promise you it works. It's been working for close to 5,000 other stores right now. So uh, we'll actually go and use this link together because I'm going to build a new store right now. So shopify.justincener.com, uh, again, 10% off every single month of your store and an extended 21-day free trial. So I'm going to shopify.justincener.com, and uh, we'll bring it up over here. And it's going to bring us into Shopify, and we're just going to literally go right into it. Again, you're not going to see anything. You're not even going to see my extended 21-day free trial, but I promise you it works. We're going to come over here. We're going to click Get Started, and we're going to simply create our Shopify store. Okay, And uh, the best part about this right now is basically in the background what's happening, and I'm just going to call this Pug Webinar Store today. And don't worry about this name. We're going to change this, get a logo. Okay, I'm creating the store, and this is what's really amazing about Shopify. Right now, our Shopify e-commerce store is be being fully built out. Right, That means full e-commerce functionality in a matter of seconds. Right, Success, your store is ready to go. Now they're going to ask us, for some basic information, it doesn't even matter what we're putting in here. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Now they're going to ask for your information, right? Go ahead and put in your information. What's happening in the background? We're getting a full e-commerce store built, right? This would have literally taken months and months of a developer's time and probably about $10,000 out of your pocket to get this done just a couple of years ago. Now with Shopify, we literally have a fully functional e-commerce store. We're uh, loading into it right now, right? The, uh, we're just filling in the basic information that Shopify was asking for, and now we're into our store. And I'm going to actually load up our store. I'm not going to say that it's pretty. I'm not going to say that it looks good, 
but we have our own fully functional e-commerce store. And obviously we haven't even taken our credit card out of our pocket, right? We have an area for the logo, area for the navigation, a big background image with text, featured collection, featured products, obviously, right? Uh, ability to add images and text, a nice big slideshow over here, footer search, and most importantly up top here, a fully functional shopping cart that out of the box already accepts Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, Apple Pay, and PayPal, right? Right out of the box. Again, our credit card has not come out yet. We haven't spent a single dollar on this website. We haven't hired a developer. We haven't looked at any code, and we already have a fully functional e-commerce site, right? How amazing is that, right? Give me a three in the chat box if you think that Shopify is just amazing, right? You don't even, <clears throat> even if you've never even looked at Shopify before, you could already tell how great it is, right? You could have a fully functional e-commerce platform. Here come the threes, right? Scott and Kevin and Christina and Fingir and Lewis and Christina, right? Three, 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 nonstop threes in the chat box. Shopify is easily the best e-commerce platform out there, right? Definitely a great company. Now, I'll give you a couple of uh, other reasons why Shopify is so great. First of all, again, you saw totally free to get started here. Use that discount link that I was talking about. I'll show you again, shopify.justinsener.com. You're going to get that 10% off for the life of your store and a 21-day extended free trial, right? And if that wasn't enough, you're going to be able to come down over here into this section right here, enable live chat, and you're going to actually have live 24-7 chat support for free with Shopify chat gurus, right? And you're probably thinking, oh, chat support typically sucks. I promise you, Shopify chat support is actually great. They can even make uh, custom changes to your site if you ask them over here in chat, right? They're available 24-7, really, really, really huge asset for you because of these, uh, uh, you know, there's basically live chat support built in. So if you're ever confused, if you don't know how to do something, if you can't find a setting or can't figure out how to customize something, you're just literally one click away from 24-7 live chat support, okay? So now that we have our Shopify store, right, we want to go and actually customize our themes, right? We want to customize the look and feel of our website, okay? And you're going to see right over here, the first thing that we need to do is customize your online store. So we're going to click customize theme, okay? And this is going to bring us into the theme section. And uh, I see a question about the chat support. Is there additional fee for chat support? Absolutely not. It's totally free. Totally free from Shopify, right? So uh, we clicked on this homepage. I'm going to just show you again real quick. We clicked on this homepage button, customize theme, and it brought us to the online store section of our dashboard over here, right? This is our Shopify admin dashboard. And you see that we have the debut theme installed. Okay, debut, it's a nice theme, but I'm gonna show you a better one that's gonna work for print on demand a little bit easier. We're gonna come up here to the to the theme store, this big blue button, click this. <coughs> and it's gonna open us up into the Shopify theme store. First thing I want you to do is click free, okay? Now, the reason why I want you to do a free theme is not because I wanna save you money, okay? There's two reasons. First of all, every single theme on this page has been built for mobile first, okay? And you're gonna find when you do Facebook ads, 85 to 90% of your traffic every single day is gonna come from mobile. Okay, so if you don't have a mobile optimized website, you're in for a horrible time. Okay, make sure you have a, a uh, mobile optimized website. Number two reason, these free themes, every single Shopify chat guru has to know everything there is to know about all of these free themes. So not only are you getting a free theme, not only are you getting a mobile customized, uh, I'm sorry, a mobile optimized theme, you're also getting a theme that is going to be fully supported by live chat, right? By live chat here. And I clicked on the minimal theme. Actually, let me go back real quick show you a couple of the themes that I recommend, right? You have the debut theme. It's nice, right? You could definitely use it. There's also the Brooklyn theme. I like that one a little bit better. And then the one I like the most is minimal, okay? Minimal over here. We can click into minimal. And uh, I'm going to click on fashion as the style that we're going to use here. And you can see a little demo of it here. We can click here, demo, and actually view this uh, site. And I promise we're going to do a much better job at customizing this site than even Shopify does, right? We're going to create a site where when you land on this page, you know exactly what's going on. Right, you know exactly if we're going to build a pug store, there's going to be everything colors, logos, fonts, banner images, all about pugs. Right, and I think Shopify in this case, all you see is a girl who fell off her bike in the woods, not exactly saying what the subject of the site is. I promise we're going to do a much better job and we're going to do it in just a matter of minutes. So, next thing we need to do is click start with this theme because we're going to go and install this theme onto our store. And it's basically asking us to log into our store over here. What we need to do is copy this little section up here. We're going to copy our store URL. And again, we're going to get a domain, a .com domain that's going to look a lot better than this, right? But don't worry about what it uh, shows you right now. So coming over here, we're going to now paste in our URL and click login. And what's going to happen is we're going to get sent back into our dashboard and we're going to be able to publish the minimal theme as our store's new website. And you see literally it says downloading and installing your theme. This is how easy Shopify is, right? You want to change themes, you want to change setup, you want to change the look and feel of your entire site. Well, it just took about 10 seconds to do that, okay? So the minimal theme has been installed. We're going to go to the theme manager. <coughs> and you see up here, <coughs> excuse me, it says minimal published. 
We now have the minimal theme open. Right here was the debut theme. It's not active anymore. Right, if you want to switch back, you can click publish theme. But now we're over here to minimal theme, and this is where we're going to get into actually customizing the look and feel of our website. We're going to click this button, customize theme. Okay, and again, this is where we're going to see the power of Shopify. We're going to be able to customize every single option on this website, and we're never going to need to look at code. We're going to make all of our changes right inside this theme panel. Okay, this is your theme panel. This allows you to make all the different changes to the site. For example, we're going to start with colors. Okay. And you see, for example, we have this top bar background, this big black background uh, uh, on the top uh, header area, right? It's black. We see over here, top bar, bra bu uh, bl eh, top bar bl uh, background with this black color. Well, we want to do a pug uh, uh, niche, so we want to set a color scheme that makes sense with pug. So all we need to do is come over here and click into this. And as you see, I'm dragging my mouse around and I'm actually changing the color of my store. But we're not just going to pick a random color. We're going to pick a color that makes sense with pugs, right? Because we want to build a store that immediately resonates with pug lovers. So let's come over here to Google, and I'm just going to literally type in the word pugs, and I'm going to go to Google Images, right? What I want to basically see is, are there any colors that are very apparent for this niche? Because we want to be on point with our brand, right? If, if people who love pugs, if they've been interacting with websites and fan pages and blogs about pugs, and they see a color scheme that is very consistent, then we want to use that color scheme as well. And I think it's very obvious what it is here, right? Every single image here we see black, we see beige or tan, and in some images we see grass, you know, green, green grass outdoors, right? So beige, tan, black, brown, green, right? Those are the colors that make sense for this niche. So we're not going to reinvent the wheel here, guys. We're going to use those exact colors, right? This is not rocket science. None of this is rocket science. Getting your store started is literally, I think, very easy, right? You got to pick a color, right? You're going to pick a color scheme. Well, we're going to pick one that makes sense for our niche, okay? So we'll come back here to our store. We're going to go to this top bar background, and let's look for something in that beige, brown, kind of tan color range, right? And you see it's kind of changing up here. I can move my mouse around in here to kind of get different colors, and I want to get something maybe um, a little bit less kind of gold and more uh, brown. Move it up here a little bit. There you go, right? And if we come back over here to Pugs, right, we're looking at we're trying to match this type of color or this type of color scheme, right? And we see a little bit of uh, uh, brown gold up here, and I think that looks great, right? This is going to be the basis of our color scheme for our store. And again, People who are into pugs are used to this color, right? They might not notice it when they come to the site, but subconsciously they're definitely going to say, hey, you know, this site is clearly about pugs, right? Color scheme is right on point to what I've seen everywhere else. This is definitely a site that I can trust, right? And that's a huge factor, right? Their credit card is not coming out without the feeling of trust. And you see just how easy it is to build that trust, to build a custom looking site with Shopify. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to click in here and I'm going to grab this uh, combination of letters and numbers. This is called a hex code, right? This is called the hex code, otherwise known as an HTML color representation for this shade of gold, right? What I'm going to do is copy this. <clears throat> and Christina says, I can't believe you're giving all these golden nuggets away for free. Uh, Christina, believe it. I, I really, I just want everyone to be in this business, right? I'll tell you more about my, my coaching program and all that stuff as we go on to this, uh, through this training. But really, uh, even if you just use this training and never interact with me again, um, I, 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 I'd be happy about it, right? I mean, you, you'd be able to get into this great business model. You could potentially change your life with this business model. So more than happy to share this idea, uh, this, this kind of theory, because this has really, uh, um, you know, uh, no lie, this has changed my life, right, for, for, for obviously for the better. So uh, I grabbed this little color code, right, this gold, uh, brown, I'm just going to call it gold from now, and I copied it, and I'm going to use it everywhere else that I have a black background. For example, the footer background is black, I'm going to come over here, and I'm simply going to paste in that gold, right? And you see we're starting to develop a little bit of a color scheme, right? We have our footer background, we have our top bar background. The minimal theme also uses a lot of lines and borders. You see over here there's a little gray line. Let's change that. Let's integrate our gold in there as well, right? You see our gold kind of come in here uh, once it gets changed, right? We have gold lines now. So we'll save that, okay? And we'll, uh, we'll scroll down over here. We're looking for some other things. For example, button text, primary buttons and links. Right now you see it's red, right? It doesn't look so great on this gold background. Plus we also saw that there was a, you know, a very definitive other color in terms of brown or black. Um, there was also green, right? So we could change to any of those colors. I often like using a nice strong green for a, uh, a button, for my buttons, especially green. You know, green means go. So for conversion, that's always a good idea to use a green or a blue button. So we're going to integrate green as our secondary color there. And we're just going to do some cleaning up here. You see that this uh, text is a little bit hard to read because we changed this background color. Well, no problem. Top bar text, going to change it to white, right? We could change it to anything. We just want to make sure it looks good. We're going to go down here to the footer, right? Again, a little bit hard to read. Change this to white. Okay, you see the uh, the payment and social media icons down here? They're gray. We can change them to any color we want. We want to change them to red. We want to change them to green. But we're going to change them to white because that's going to look best. And we're going to save this site. Okay? Or I'm sorry, we're going to save the colors here. 
And now I'm just going to show you, we're going to come back to this theme and you're going to see that we have the minimal theme installed here. And we're starting to get a little bit of a color scheme implemented on our site, right? Right now we have, basically we have uh, our, our beige gold, we have our secondary green, and then we have white and black as kind of our main content area colors, okay? So we're, we're on our way to customizing our site, right? So let's continue. Let's go to the next section. And this is topography. And this is going to be where we control all the fonts on our site. And if you thought that to change the fonts on your e-commerce store, you'd need to hire a developer or look at code, well, get that out of your head right now. You never need to look at code. You never need to hire a developer, right? You're going to be able to do all this. If you could change the fonts in Microsoft Word or in your email, right, then you could change the fonts on your website, right? And you can see the body text, headings, navigation, and buttons. We're going to change these all. I'm a big fan of this avant-garde font. So I'm going to change all the fonts to avant-garde. You're going to see all the fonts literally change in real time, right? This logo font change, collection font change, navigation, all the fonts change based on what we put in. You don't like avant-garde? Okay, no problem. Maybe you want to change it to something else. We could change it to cabin, right? And you're going to see the font up here change to cabin, okay? Uh, best practice, normally you're going to use one font across the entire site. So I'm going to set all these to be avant-garde. And now we're done customizing our topography, okay? I'll come over here. I'll give a little reload on this screen and you're going to see all the fonts have updated to the avant-garde font because that's what we set in the topography section. Okay, it's super easy. We're just setting options here. No code, nothing technologically challenging and we're well on our way to building a nice site. Okay, I'm going to skip down here to social media. You're always going to want to put in your social media links, for example, Facebook and Instagram. Just simply copy and paste your uh, social media channels there. And once we save that, you're going to see that this is automatically going to update in the footer, right? You see the uh, Facebook link, you see the Instagram icon automatically in here, automatically linking over to your fan page. And maybe no one wants to actually go ahead and like you or follow you on these channels, but I promise you they want to know that you exist, right? What trustworthy business is not on social media in 2017? <laughs> the correct answer is uh, there is no uh, trustworthy business that is not on social media. Make sure that you have your social media icons on here. Just a way to build trust, right? Just like these... Uh, credit card icons build trust. These social media icons will build trust as well. Okay. So uh, we're going to come down here into checkout, right? And uh, we'll actually come back to this. You're going to be able to uh, uh, do very little on the on the checkout page. And this is uh, done on purpose, right? Shopify controls the entire checkout page. They will allow you to upload your logo here. And we'll come back to that. But it's good that you don't have much control over the checkout page because they're going to control everything in terms of security and SSL and PCIe compliance. And a lot of that probably sounds like foreign language to you. And for good reason right? You don't need to be concerned with that. Remember with t-shirt print on demand, you only have one job and that's to make the sale, right? Shopify uh, covers everything on the technical sense with the website. The t-shirt print on demand uh, partner covers everything after the sale. Your job is to simply make the sale, right? So uh, we'll continue on here. We're going to go to the sections now. We're going to go to the header, okay? And I'm actually going to ask for your guys' help here. <coughs> I want to get a, uh, a funny store name, okay? And a lot of people ask me, do you have to have a funny store name? You don't have to, but I like having a funny store name. The reason is I want to be remarkable in any way. I want people to remember me for whatever reason. I don't care what reason it is, right? In 2017, all you need to do is get people's attention. That's all you could ask for when you're doing any type of, uh, of social media, any type of ads, right? Attention is the name of the game. You need to get people's attention and anything to kind of make that easier, whether maybe it's a funny store name or a really cool logo or a really cool mascot, whatever, doing that would actually give you the ability to be a little bit more remarkable. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys, post in the question box here, in the comment box, give me some funny store names for this store. And I'm actually going to build a logo in Photoshop on the other uh, screen right now, okay? Uh, a little note about that. If you're not a designer, definitely don't pretend to be one, okay? I'm going to build a logo right now. Um, I, I'm definitely not never building my own logo for a live store, okay? This is just a little uh, a test store that I'm doing, obviously, for this webinar. Um, I implore you to get a professional logo done. And that definitely does not mean spending thousands of dollars. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on a logo. I had a, uh, uh, my startup that I sold a couple of years ago. I sold it to a company that had over $90 million in funding. Uh, they still use my logo today. Guess how much I paid for that logo? 45 bucks, right? You don't need to spend thousands of dollars for logos here. So, you know, I'm going to build one in Photoshop, but like I said, get a professional one done. It could cost you somewhere between 40 and a hundred dollars on a site like Upwork or 99 designs or freelancer.com. And uh, also a bonus tip here. Um, if you do join my t-shirt bootcamp program, I'm going to open up 10 spots for the bootcamp program at the end of this webinar. If you join that program, the uh, you get access to my designers as part of the program. They'll also make logos for you in there for much cheaper than you'd find anywhere else. So another uh, a nice little benefit of joining the bootcamp. But don't worry, I'll tell you all about the bootcamp as we go on through this training. Okay. So I see some great names here. <clears throat> I see Pugs R Us, Pug Life, Hooked on Pugs, Pugs for Hugs, <laughs> Pug My Day. Okay, let's put it up to vote. Uh, give me a one in the chat box for Pugs R Us. Give me a two in the chat box for Pugs for Hugs, and I'll just finish off this logo and just add whatever name 
you guys in there. Looks like uh, we got two, 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 uh, one. Most votes are for two pugs for hugs. Uh, let's see those votes in there, guys. Again, one pugs are us, two pugs for hugs. Looks like pugs for hugs is the definitive winner. So we're coming over here in the header section. I'm just finishing this up in Photoshop. I'm saving this logo file. Basically, what would happen is your logo designer would send you a logo file, right? It would be a JPEG file or a .png file. And you'd come over here to the logo setting under header. And we go to logo and we click upload image, okay? What we're literally going to do is just go ahead and upload the logo design, right? And this is going to be, again, what you would receive back from your logo designer, okay? From your logo designer. And I'm just trying to find the file that I literally just saved. This nice little Hugs for Pugs logo. Here it is. Uploading it here and you're going to see it automatically gets placed into the design, okay? I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. You could shrink the image just by uh, making a little bit smaller width number. I change it from 450 to 250. It looks real nice now. It's all kind of aligned and looking pretty. So now we have a logo, right? It has also integrated our color scheme. And just in a couple of minutes, this site has only been uh, existed for a little bit over 10 minutes, right? If you land on this website, and I'll reload it over here, right? We don't have any products on this. We don't even have a banner image, right? But if you land on this website, you already know what's going on, right? You see a color scheme that speaks to you as a pug lover. You see a logo icon that speaks to you as a pug lover. You see a logo name that speaks to you as a pug lover. And you might even uh, find that, that, the pu that the Pugs for Hugs name is funny you might even rem remember it right you might even recommend it to a friend right you might even bring it up in conversation because we're trying to get that funny name to be remarkable okay <clears throat> and obviously here there's there's been nothing technologically challenging whatsoever right we haven't seen any technological challenges to get to this point right here right and we're well on our way to a nice store so let's continue on here okay we got the logo over here okay now i'm going to come back over we'll go to the checkout and i'll come and actually add that logo to the checkout as well Okay, now I'll add that logo there. Okay. Going through here, we've got a couple more things. We have our home page. You see we have a slideshow section up here. You may not have even noticed this is a slideshow, right? Now we need to go get a big banner image for this slide, right? Or for this slideshow section. So we're going to come over to the slides slideshow section and customize it here. And you see it says auto rotate slides. You see there's multiple slides here. I'm actually going to delete all, all but one slide. I just want to have one slide. I want to have one strong banner image. I'm going to turn off auto rotate. And now I'm just going to focus on customizing this one slide, okay? And for this, you need to find a really big image. And unfortunately, you're not allowed to just go to Google Images and just take something here, okay? You're not allowed to do that. But what you definitely can do is go to a free uh, stock image site, for example, unsplash.com, okay? Unsplash.com, you see it on your screen right now. It literally says right here, free, do whatever you want with these high-resolution photos, okay? There's also another one. It's called Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. Same idea free stock imagery. You can do whatever you want. So you just come over here and you're going to type in your niche. Okay. We'll type in pug. Okay. We see all these images here, right? <coughs> Again, all of these are free to use. Okay. We're going to come over here and do the same thing. Type in pug. Again, all of these are free to use. In fact, this would be a great one, right? Uh, if you could have an image where the uh, subject of the image is looking at the customer, like looking them in the eye, as you see this one is, this would be a great image. And you see over here, CC0, Creative Commons 0 license, free for personal and commercial use, no attribution required. All we need to do, click the free download button, and we're literally going to be able to just go ahead and download this image, right? Right click and save it, downloading this image onto my hard drive. Okay, again, totally free to use. Unsplash.com, Pexels.com, both great sources. Now we come back to our section over here under the slide, and we're going to click upload image. Uploading the file that I had just saved, you're going to see it's going to replace this big section. It's going to fill it in with our new pug image, looking directly at me or at the customer saying, hey, you like pugs? I'm a pug. Take your credit card out because you're about to buy all the products on this website, right? Obviously, that's the message that we're trying to send here, right? And I'm going to save this over here. And I'm going to come back and reload our site, right? And this site, which is now 14 minutes old, take a look at what we have here, right? Color scheme that resonates with the niche. Logo icon that resonates with the niche. Logo name that resonates with the niche and is remarkable, right? And if that wasn't enough, a massive banner image smacking the customer right in the face saying, hey, you like pugs, you're in the right place, right? This is the power of Shopify, guys. This is the power of Shopify. We're doing all of this. We haven't taken our credit card out yet. We haven't spent a dollar on anything. We haven't uh, looked at any code. We haven't hired a developer, right? We're doing all this right here, okay? Uh, up next, featured collection. Okay, this is going to basically say, how many products do you want to show on the homepage? Let's say you want to show 15. Well, make it five per row, three rows, five times three is 15, and save that out. <laughs> Moving forward, we have this little section over here, talk about your brand, right? We could add content down over here. We could change the content up this. 
write a, you know, little, write a little story, right? Get people compelled, right? Tell a story about your store or your, your mission or whatever, right? Talk about how much you love pugs, right? Talk about how much you love uh, uh, dealing with other people that love pugs, et cetera, et cetera, right? Tell, tell a, a story here. Build your brand here, okay? Nice little opportunity to do that, okay? And uh, last thing we need to do is deal with the footer, okay? Uh, there are a couple different sections over here. For example, menu, right? You could select which menu you want to show over here, right? Menu is a section in the back end over here under navigation. So you'll be able to create menus there, and they'll be shown on your footer. You just typically, you're going to want to stick with the footer menu, okay? You have social icons, right? These are going to be built automatically, and you have newsletter sign up. You'll be able to integrate the MailChimp app or whatever uh, whatever email sign up you want, and it will integrate this box for you automatically, okay? No code needed, okay? So, uh, in fact, that's actually all there is to it in terms of customization. I'm going to go back to Shopify here and show you one more thing, okay? And that is under here under domains, okay? Under domains, we have this section where we can either connect an existing domain. Let's say you've already bought it from GoDaddy. You can do that. Or you could buy a new domain directly from Shopify, okay? It's only going to be $13 a year. It's much easier to just buy it through Shopify. And here's the important thing here, okay? You do not want a .net. You don't want a .org. You don't want a .info. You don't want a .guru or a .ninja or whatever. You need a .com, okay? Think to yourself, name one trustworthy e-commerce store that is not .com. I don't, I don't think you can. I don't think there's one trustworthy e-commerce store that doesn't have a .com. Make sure you get your .com domain, okay? And our store over here is Pugs for Hugs, right? Let's say Pugs for Hugs is taken, which it probably is, okay? Pugs for Hugs .com is probably taken, okay? So what do you do if it's taken? And it's going to give you these alternatives, right? Don't take any of these alternatives. These alternatives suck, okay? You need a .com. So what are you going to do? How about Pugs for Hugs store? You know, you add store to the end or add brand or add company or co or shop, uh, and this one is available, pugsforhugstore.com, $13 a year. Buy it right through here. And what it's going to do is automatically replace this really ugly URL with your nice pretty .com domain. Okay? And uh, that's really the magic of it here. You don't need to do anything else. It's just going to automatically go and replace that domain. Definitely do not go live with your store before you have a .com domain. Okay? Don't even think about going live with this .myshopify.com domain. You know what this tells your customers? Hey, I'm so cheap, I couldn't even afford a $13 domain. Definitely don't trust your credit card information with my site, right? No one understands what this myshopify.com thing is. It looks weird, right? You don't see a typical store that looks like this. You need a .com domain, okay? There's really no way around that. Make sure that you're getting a .com domain, okay? And with that being said, that's all there is to it in terms of customizing our store. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to reload this again and take a look at what we have, right? Customized homepage. We're going to have up to 15 products on our homepage. <coughs> we'll have a story about our brand, our newsletter sign up, our social media icons, our trust icons, our footer link, <coughs> our navigation, uh, our logo, our color scheme, and of course, again, super important, our fully functional shopping cart right here, right? And by the way, this site is only 18 minutes old. I signed up for this, uh, that extended free trial through that Shopify.JustinSenior link just 18 minutes ago, right? Now we have a fully functional e-commerce site ready to add our first product to, right? And now we're through the platform section of this agenda, right? Now we're through a platform section. Give me a five in the chat box. If you're super confident, you could replicate everything that I just showed you, right? Give me a five, and you, you, know, you might not be able to do it as fast as I've done it. I've built about a million Shopify stores already. But give me a five in the chat box if you're confident that you could apply what I showed you. And this is just the first section of this webinar. We're going to go into partners, design, research, marketing next, right? But as you see, nothing at all technologically challenging. I see fives from Scott and Sean and Fred gave 724 fives in the, in the chat box and Yasmin and Christina and Fingri and Tiffany and Sean and Kevin and Mike and Jared and Charlie and Lewis and Tracy, fives, fives, fives from everyone, right? And that's how it should be, right? Fives from everyone because this is not at all a challenging business, right? You saw that it's very easy to get your store up and running in just a matter of minutes, okay? And the next section we're going to talk about is t-shirt print-on-demand partners, okay? T-shirt print-on-demand partners. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to the t-shirt boot camp. Okay. T-Shirt Bootcamp is my world-class T-shirt training program. And really, it's by far the best training program out there for print-on-demand, for Shopify, and for Facebook ads. Because you're going to master everything, Shopify, T-shirts, print-on-demand, and Facebook ads, when you go into my Bootcamp program. You can check it out on the highlighted link on your screen right now, camp.justincener.com. Take a look at all the great features, all the great testimonials. But I'll fill you in real quick. I'm, and I am opening up 10 spots right now during this webinar for this boot camp right now. I'd love to have you join. And here's what you're going to get when you do join the t-shirt boot camp. It's a five pillar program. You're going to get all five 
pillars of here for a one-time fee. It's $9.97 to get into the T-shirt boot camp. And first, you're going to get coaching videos. I'm talking about hours upon hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of in-depth coaching videos, literally walking you through every facet of the T-shirt print-on-demand business. Okay, Modules include advanced Shopify tactics, working with designers, how to pick a niche, beginner Facebook ads, advanced Facebook ads, scaling, email marketing, operations, and way, way more, right? Each module is filled with numerous videos, right? Those aren't just videos. Those are sections of videos. So <clears throat> we go fully in depth. I think just in the advanced Facebook ad section, there's 20 videos, right? 20 videos. And I'm constantly adding new videos. I just added a new video to the Facebook ad section just this week. So always adding new videos, always updating the section. And that's number one, right? You're getting coaching videos. And if that was number one, number one A is definitely private mastermind group, Okay. This is arguably just as important as the coaching videos. This is a huge asset for you because in this private members only group, I literally answer every single question that gets posted. Okay, I don't care if it's the most beginner question or the most advanced question. I'm going to take the time out every single day to answer every single question that gets posted. And I used to do one-on-one -on -one coaching for over $10,000 a month. Obviously, this is much cheaper than that. And really, it's effectively the next best thing because you're going to get, again, direct access to me inside that bootcamp group. I'm going to be answering every single question that gets posted. And I know we have a couple of bootcamp members in here today, uh, you know, you, you guys can uh, just give me, give me feedback in the chat box, right? You, you guys can attest to the fact that literally I'm in there every day answering questions. Give you an example. I got married uh, last year and on the morning of my wedding, I was in my bootcamp group answering questions, right? So uh, again, massive asset for you because this isn't just the videos, right? You also get all the, uh, the um, extra clarification, the extra opportunity to ask me direct questions, okay? Uh, next up on the list, you're going to get access to my designers. Okay, this is huge. Finding a designer, finding a good designer, it's not only time consuming, it's super expensive, right? All of my bootcamp members get access to my designers, right? As soon as you join, you're going to get access. And not only do you get access to them, they've agreed to give some, you know, crazy low prices. They typically charge between $75 and $100 on the open market. You're going to be able to work with them for $37 per design. And uh, they're giving me that pricing or giving you guys that pricing because I'm sending them so much work through the bootcamp. So it's really a win-win for everyone. So you get access to the designers. You don't need to struggle through finding a designer. I've probably gone through 20 to 25 designers since I've started in this business. And unfortunately, some of them were just terrible, right? You're going to be able to skip that once you join the bootcamp, be able to work with my world-class pre-vetted designers once you join. Okay, next up on the list, scaling strategies. And uh, honestly, I could sell these alone once or twice a year for maybe $50,000. And it would be well worth it for whoever bought it. These scaling strategies, they'll literally change your business overnight, right? These are the direct differences between $100 days and $1,000 days. And I'm super proud of the scaling strategy, super confident about the scaling strategies. I think, you know, uh, you're going to learn a lot in there. But what I'm best at when it comes to Facebook ads is scaling, right? My scaling methods make it super easy. <clears throat> I literally have done for you scaling rules inside the boot camp. All you need to do is just follow them. You can basically follow them robotically and make money, right? Scaling rules. That's the fourth of the five pillars that you're getting. And last but certainly not least, you're going to get all of my tools, all of my templates, all of my ad copy, literally just copy and paste, steal, swipe, grab, whatever you want to call it. I make it available for you inside the bootcamp members area. As soon as you join, you can go ahead and just grab all of that content, all of those templates in there, my uh, high converting product descriptions, my high converting email copy, ad copy, etc. It's all in there. And it's all over there at camp.justincener.com. Really uh, implore you to check this out. Um, this is by far the best coaching program out there, and I don't think anything comes close. Uh, we have over 300 student success stories inside the T-shirt boot camp, and I think that speaks volumes to the quality of this program. First of all, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find any other program that's even supported long enough that would actually get that many testimonials, right? Not only is it supported, but I've just recently updated all the videos, all the content for 2017, Right? So the T-Shirt Bootcamp has been fully updated, basically two, version 2.0 just a couple weeks ago for everything this year, everything up to date. And again, I've been supporting this program. This has been my main focus. I don't jump from program to program. I've been doing this since, uh, or offering this program since the middle of last year. Right? We have over 300 student success stories. And again, this just speaks volumes to the quality of the strategy that I'm teaching you inside of the Bootcamp, not to mention the direct access that you get with me in the Bootcamp members area. And again, you guys could check out this uh, uh, sales page camp.justincener.com or justincener.com slash bootcamp. Watch the video. I'll walk you through kind of what's in the back end, all the different videos, all the different modules that you're going to get inside the bootcamp. You can get in single pay $9.97. You could do a two pay of $5.97. Costs you a little bit more, but you can get in for a little bit cheaper. And I do have a great bonus package I'm going to show you, but just go through this page. Take a look at some of these success stories, right? $400,000 a month, $36,000 a day, 1,000 orders in one day, right? $25,000 a month, $10,000 a month, 
Uh, we have uh, Miranda with her hundred thousand dollar months. Harry came through here, did three hundred thousand dollars in one month, right? You could take a look, see a little bit about me. Been featured in some really nice publications. Bottom line is again, take a look at what's inside the boot camp. Bottom line is this is the best uh, best coaching program for the t-shirt print on demand business, and that's the bottom line, right? You're going to learn Shopify, you're going to learn t-shirt print on demand, you're going to learn Facebook ads, right? You're going to learn it all inside the t-shirt boot camp. And let's take a look at some of these success stories, right? From knowing nothing about t-shirts to making forty five thousand dollars a month. I showed you Austin earlier in the PowerPoint. We have John. I always laugh about this. John says still having issues with targeting. Starting to see a few sales here and there. He did his first sale over here, right? Fast forward. Um, I think this was in December. He's now doing hundred thousand dollar months. Right. John literally says himself, he started with zero experience selling online. He's now doing hundred thousand dollar months with Shopify selling t shirts. Okay. And you have Frank over here, go from no experience to first sale to first ten thousand dollar month. Here you go. First day running ads to my new t shirt store, got his first sale within the first twenty four hours of joining the boot camp. Right. And uh, just about eight weeks later, he's close to ten thousand dollars in revenue. Right. And again, Frank had zero experience. Right. Now he's crushing it, right? Doing nine thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars in eight weeks—that's life-changing money. I don't care who you are. And again, over three hundred student testimonials. You're going to be the next one. You could take a look at some of these videos. More uh, testimonials: hundred sixty-one thousand dollar month, nine hundred dollar days, thousand dollar days. Uh, he says, on holiday this week, lying on the beach, completely chilled out. Shopify sales continue to roll in. Right? Cobb literally selling T-shirts as he's on vacation. I mean, this is what uh, the dream here is about this business, right? Great lifestyle business. You can go through and look at all these. Um, testimonials, but I want to call attention to the bonus package. Okay. And you do have a limited amount of time to get into this bonus package. Um, but uh, you're going to get a $1,600 bonus here, plus a full course. First, you're going to get my entire Instagram marketing bootcamp. Okay. $600 value. And this is really all about using Instagram for your e-commerce business, how to use influencers and how to do those shout outs, which are working so well. Okay. Bonus number two, you're going to get my ads targeting masterclasses, a $500 private masterclass. That, I, uh, that I've run in the past. You're going to learn my entire targeting strategy. It's about two hours long. Really great class. And then the third bonus you're going to get, my private invite-only talk on manual bidding. Right, Manual bidding is all the rage right now. This is about a 90-minute talk that I give on how to best implement manual bidding for your e-commerce stores. Again, $1,600 in value. You're getting that when you join the boot camp today. And it's nine ninety seven dollars for you to get in. Right, you got about a couple more days to get in and grab this bonus package. But definitely check this out, guys. I mean, literally, these are going to be the exact strategies that took me from nothing all the way up to $500,000 a month selling t-shirts with Shopify, right? And uh, we're going to jump back into the important stuff here on the agenda, but I really do implore you, check out that t-shirt boot camp. You're going to love it. Best t-shirt training program that's out there. Nothing even comes close, okay? So uh, going back to the important stuff here, back to our agenda, we're talking about the partners now. We're talking about t-shirt partners, and there are tons and tons of potential partners out there, and I'll give you an anecdote. Um, there's a company that is, <laughs> they, they've changed names now, but they're not fooling anyone. Right? They, they have terrible... Uh, service and I won't embarrass them, but you know the the first company that I used about three years ago when I started doing t-shirt print on demand, uh, I had to shut down my store because they were so terrible. Right, it would be three, four, or five weeks. My customers still didn't receive the, their t-shirts, and let me tell you, uh, they don't complain to the print on demand company. They don't even know that a print on demand company exists. Right, when they don't get their product, who do you think they're complaining to? Who do you think they're giving negative reviews to? Of course, they're giving negative reviews to me and my store. I wasn't able to recover. I had to shut down my first store because I picked the wrong t-shirt print on demand partner. Okay. I'm going to make sure that you avoid that mistake, right? <clears throat> I can go over and spend, you know, an hour to kind of comparing the different print on demand companies. There's really only one that you want to focus on, right? It's custom cat. Okay. I'm going to show you them over here. You can get a 30 day free trial of using custom cat. If you use this link on your screen, cc.justincener.com. And remember, I told you that you're going to be able to prove this entire business out before you even spend a single dollar on the platform or the partner, right? Here's the Shopify discount link, 21 days extended free trial. Custom Cat, 30-day extended free trial, right? You combine that with the strategies that I teach inside the boot camp. I teach you how to prove prove your niche within 10 days, right? So you get inside the boot camp. You don't need to spend a single dollar on the site or the t-shirt the print on demand partner because you're going to prove out the entire business before your credit card even gets dinged a single penny, right? So cc.justincener, we could actually go there together and we'll take a look at the Custom Cat offerings that are currently available, right? Custom Cat is going to be your t-shirt print on demand partner of choice. Okay. And it's just loading in here. We can watch this video, but I'm going to show you the real important stuff as we walk through. Okay. Let me go through the main things about custom cat. Let me tell you the things that people don't like first. Yes, you do have to pay for it. Okay. 30 day free trial. If you use my link, cc.justincener.com. See that link on your screen again, one more time over here. Okay. You got a 30 day free trial. If you use that link, otherwise it's going to be $30 a month afterwards. Okay. Totally well worth it. Right. And here's why. 
look at the price comparisons, right? We're talking about only $6 for a t-shirt, right? No one can even come close to custom cat. You see some of the comparisons here. No one is even within double the price, right? In terms of this comparison chart, right? $6 for a t-shirt that can't be beat, right? And let's do the numbers here. We're going to sell our t-shirt for $22.99 plus $5 shipping. So we're going to collect $28. And remember the cash flow positivity of this business, print on demand, when is the product produced? Only when it's demanded. And when is a product demanded? Only when it's ordered. So when the order comes in, we receive the money. We receive $28. Okay, $28 comes into our bank account. Then Custom Cat steps in and say, okay, we need to now charge you $6 for the t-shirt plus $3.99 for shipping. So let's call it $10. Okay, you take in $28 first. Then afterwards, you pay $10 to Custom Cat and everything else is taken care of. Remember, once you make the sale, your job is done. Custom Cat receives all this order information. They actually charge you automatically, and they'll take their $10 cut. You'll receive $18 net margin from your sale, right? We're talking about a huge margin, $18 margin on a $28 total transaction. That's pretty significant. That's over 50% net margin, and this is for a product that you'll never touch, that you'll never see, that you'll never have to store in a warehouse, right? This is the power of print-on-demand, okay? So Custom Cat is going to be by far the best price. You're just going to simply make the most money with Custom Cat, but there's, there's more as well. Custom Cat has by far the biggest product catalog. There's over 300 different print-on-demand products. 50 t-shirts, 30 sweatshirts, 30 polos, 30 jackets, 15 warm-ups. They have pants, pajama pants, sweatpants, dress shirts, work apparel, lab coats, dickies, aprons, hats, uh, headbands, bags, blankets, beach towels, fleece towels, laptop covers, tablet covers, dog leashes, glass prints, every single cell phone case you could imagine. And here you notice this, they're using the same design on all these products, right? This little globe design, right? So this is a, a really built in scaling mechanism in this business. If you have a t-shirt that works well, right? If you have a t-shirt that is selling well, then guess what? You also have a sweatshirt that sells well. You also have a sweatpants that sells well. You also have a hat, you have a backpack, you have a blanket, right? You're able to now take that same design that works for one of these products and now implement that across all of this massive product catalog that Custom Cat offers. And it's over 10 times the size of the average print-on-demand partner. The average print-on-demand partner has about 30 different variants. Custom Cat is 300, right? Again, it's a no-brainer. You're going to use Custom Cat. If you want to make the most money, if you want to have the most robust store, the best product catalog, then you're going to use Custom Cat. So all you need to do is go down here, click Add to Cart, and it's going to bring you over here. You'll be able to check out and purchase it over here. You will get that 30-day free trial when you use my link, okay? And once you use the link, uh, then it's going to bring you into your members area. And I'm going to load my members area real quick. So you'll get sent to the members area once you complete the checkout and get your free trial started for Custom Cat. And I'm just going to log in here trying to remember my password. Okay, here we go. So I'm logged in here now and I am in my members area for custom cat. Okay. And we're going to come down here. Don't worry about the community. You're not going to want to get in there. And we're going to come down here and scroll through and we're going to go and do the app installation. You can watch these videos if you want, but I'm going to show you the real important stuff. It's going to be a, a, you know, a 60 second installation, really easy. All you need to do is come and check this checkbox and type in your PayPal email address. that you use to complete your store, your purchase. And there you're going to go and enter your store name. And you see it's asking for your ugly .myshopify.com URL. Okay. So we're going to go back to our store admin. Even if you got a domain already, you want to grab this ugly domain. Okay. Up to the .myshopify.com part, copy it. And coming back over here, we're going to paste this in and we're going to press get started. And what's going to happen is we're going to go through the install process. You see, you're about to install custom cat. And we're going to click install app. And by the way, you're not going to find custom cat in the app store. It's a private app. The only way that you're going to find it is through a link like I'm sharing over here, cc.justincener.com. That's the only way you're going to be able to get that custom cat app. Okay. So once we load it over here, we're going to have the custom cat app set up. And you're going to see this big red message. It says your account is not, not active. You need to create a, uh, an account to set up. So I'll create one right now. And we're going to need to go and add a payment method on file. I'm going to do this in the other screen here so you don't, I don't share my personal information. But we need to have a credit card or PayPal on file, and that's going to allow the automation to take place, right? Once an order comes in and once we receive payment for it, we don't need to tell Custom Cat anything. They're going to receive all the order information automatically. That's why we installed this app. So we just need to have a payment method on file, right? Once we have a payment method on file, we're going to be able to complete our account. And once we have that, we'll be able to actually go and create our first T-shirt. So I'm just saving the changes over here on the other screen with my personal information in it. 
And now we come over here. Okay, I've got my PayPal connected to it now. And now you're going to see we go back to the Custom Cat app, and there's no red message anymore. We're, we're ready to get started. And by the way, you're going to be able to find this over here under Apps, Custom Cat Fulfillment. Okay. So now we're over here. Now we need to click Add Product. Okay. We're going to click on Add Product, and this is where we need to go ahead and actually upload our design. Okay. But we're going to jump around a little bit because obviously we don't have a design right now. So let's go back to the agenda and see what's next. Right. Next up is Design Research. Okay. So this is about actually getting a design file. Right. Our inventory is not a t-shirt, right? It's not a hoodie. Our inventory is simply a digital design file. And I'm going to show you a little example design that I have here. I'm going to bring it up on the screen right now. And this is a pug design. This is a transparent .png. This is a file that my t-shirt designer produced for me, right? This little 20 kilobyte file, this is my inventory. This design, it says this girl loves her husband and her pug, right? We're going to turn this into a t-shirt, okay? This little design file, this could be a potential six or seven figure asset. This little 20 kilobyte file that's sitting on your hard drive right now, this could be turned on demand, can be turned into anything like a t-shirt, a hat, a hoodie, a sweatpants, cell phone case, doesn't matter. Any of those products, we could take this design and turn it into any of those products. And again, we'll never touch that product. We'll never store it in our warehouse. We'll never have to figure out how to keep it in stock, et cetera, et cetera, right? The t-shirt print on demand partner does all that, right? So this is going to be the design file, but how do we get this? right? How are we going to get our designer to provide this file? Well, first of all, we need to have a designer, right? And again, if you join the t-shirt bootcamp, you can check that out again over here at uh, camp.justinsenior.com. This is my world-class t-shirt training program. You get access to my designers inside here, right? Let's say you don't join the bootcamp. How are you going to get a designer? 99designs, freelance, uh, freelancer.com, upwork.com, even Craigslist, you can find a designer, okay? Make sure you find a good t-shirt designer here, okay? And what we're going to do after that is then we have to actually go and do design research. We basically need to tell the designer what we want to have produced. So we need to do product research. We need to basically figure out how are we going or what are we going to put on our t-shirt, okay? And there's an old way to do it and a new way to do it. I don't think many people do the old way anymore. The old way is kind of going through Google and Pinterest and Reddit and uh, Instagram and finding popular images and then turning those into t-shirts, right? Um, you know, the, the good thing about that is we get to look at things like social proof, right? If we're on Reddit, for example, we can go and sort by things that are most popular, and if we find some cool images, right, maybe we could turn those into t-shirts, right? That's the old way to do it. The new way to do it, the real way that everyone who is kind of doing it well is doing it is using basically a T-SPY database, okay? There's a couple different databases out there. Here's the one that I use. We can go check out this link. It's tee.justinsenior.com. This is where we're going to do our t-shirt design research. I'm going to show you how powerful this tool is, okay? So I'll go ahead and grab uh, tee.justinsenior.com. And we'll go to uh, that website right now. <coughs> Excuse me, and it's going to load into T Spy, <coughs> and uh, don't let the word spy give you any negative connotation. All this is is a database, right? It's a huge searchable database of T-shirt campaigns. Okay, and all this information is publicly available. They just do a great job of putting it all into one big sortable, searchable database. So you come over here, click Use App. You could try it for free, right? And the kind of free functionality is still really, really powerful. What it's going to allow you to do is search through. 1.2 million t-shirt campaigns and basically search and see tons and tons of t-shirt ideas. Let's say our niche is, uh, is well, our niche is pugs. Right? We're going to go in here and type in pug. Okay, we'll type in pug and we'll see all the shirts. There's probably thousands of shirts that have to do with pugs. We see 3,288 items, uh, 3,288 shirts that have to do with pugs. Okay. And we can go through here and take a look at some of the images and get ideas here, get inspiration. And keep in mind, I'm not saying copy. Okay, do not copy pixel for pixel, but definitely get inspired by other designs, right? That's just basic t-shirt research. You got to get inspired by other designs, okay? Now, what's so powerful about this tool, right? Seeing all these things in one place, it's really great, right? 3,200 ideas in one place for one niche, that's awesome. But that's not at all the power of the tool, okay? The real power of the tool is when, you're, when you have a paid account, you're able to unlock these filters, for example, sales, okay? And on the sales filter, it's going to tell you literally how many sales you've had in or I'm not, not you, but how many sales the t-shirt has had in the past year, okay? Incredibly valuable information. Basically, what would you rather <clears throat> uh, uh, start with in terms of t-shirt research? Data that shows you how many likes a product has, like we can find that on Facebook, or data that shows you how many sales a product has had, right? Of course, we'd love to know the sales information. Knowing sales data is so valuable, right? Social engagement and stuff like that, that's not that valuable, right? But what's definitely valuable is knowing the sales data. Okay, so I'm over here, I logged into my paid account, 
And there's a couple different paid levels here. I'm on the business level, which is the most expensive. But you could even do the $27, um, $27, which is the lowest paid one. That will also unlock the sales functionality. Okay. Now we'll do the research again. Come back here to Pug. And we'll search for Pug. And now we're going to be able to unlock the sales filters. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort by shirts that have the most sales. Okay. We'll come up here and, and sort by sales. It's going to take a while because there's so many shirts on here. But it's going to go through and sort by most sales. We got to do it twice actually to sort by descending order. And we're going to see here this shirt has 771 sales. Okay. The Pug face. Okay. Uh, obviously, this is kind of a ripoff of the North face. Right. See over here. Uh, this is probably a St. Patrick's Day shirt, right? This sold 771 copies. This one sold 563 copies. This one sold 437 copies, right? You make $18 margin per shirt. Let's just do some of the math on here, right? 771 shirts times $18 margin. This campaign did $13,000 in net profit, right? Thirteen, excuse me, $13,800 in profit on this shirt. Right. So when we go to our designer, and say, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Designer, I want to create a pug shirt. Right. Again, I'm not saying copy, but we're definitely going to tell our designer, hey, <clears throat> this shirt sold 700 copies. This shirt sold 500 copies. Let's create designs that are similar to these. <clears throat> now, uh, again, let me be let me be extra clear. I'm not saying copy, but I am definitely saying get inspired. Right. And this sales information is invaluable. I'd much rather have sales information than any type of social information. I don't really care about likes and comments and shares and repins and Reddit votes. It's interesting information, but really what is so useful is sales information. And you're only going to find sales information over here on T-SPY. And again, you can find the T-SPY link right here at tee.justinsenior.com. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, you'll go through T-SPY. You'll find all the different types of ideas. And then you'd provide a design brief to your designer. You'd say, hey, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Designer, uh, I want to create a pug shirt. I want the text to be this. And I want the shirt style to be similar to this. And then you send them links, right? You would actually literally send them links like these. Right. You say, OK, I want uh, I want it to be similar to this in terms of font and I want it to be similar to this in terms of color and I want it to be similar to this in terms of image, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Give your designer as much information as possible. OK. And obviously every designer in the T-shirt boot camp, they know how to create high end T-shirt designs. You want to make sure that your designer understands that they're designing for a T-shirt. Right. They need to create print ready files. And that means dot PNG transparent dot PNG files that are at least twenty four hundred pixels in size or fully vector dot EPS illustrator files okay either one of those are going to work okay so at that point we'd give our design uh, our designer our designer brief and he'd get back to you he or she would get back to you with the actual design file right i showed you what this design file looks like right there right i showed you that is the design file right that's what you'd receive from your actual designer okay and uh what we see here and uh, i see some comments about uh, audio give me one in the chat box if you guys can hear me um, all right. You see those? Okay, great, great. Just want to make sure that the microphone is working. All great. Cool. So we have our design file, right? Our designer would come back and we basically say, okay, this looks great. We're going to finalize this design. Now we're going to take this design into custom cat. We're going to jump back around into our presentation here. This is where we were at previously. And we're going to go and actually add our t-shirt design. It says upload a new design. We're going to click on here, add front. And we're going to simply drag and drop that t-shirt design file right here into custom cat and it's going to upload the design into the custom cat system and that means <coughs> this file is in their system ready to be printed whenever an order comes in okay so this is the first step of making that integration with custom cat now custom cat has this actual file into the system right it's literally going through it's uploading it's sending and uh, it's going to upload it should only take a couple seconds to upload this file now that we have this file in here we're going to actually be able to put this file on all the different types of um, mock-ups or different products that we want. For example, if we want to sell it as a cell phone case or a hat or a t-shirt or a hoodie, we're going to be able to do that in the next step. So this is just loading right now. And typically what I want to do on a uh, on any given product page, I will pr pretty much have a t-shirt, a hoodie, a tank top, and a women's cut shirt. Okay, And you're going to see those options as we go through. Of course, we're always going to use that $6 t-shirt because it's such a great product. So now that we have the t-shirt design or t-shirt uploaded, we're going to be able to come over here and click choose an, up, uh, an already uploaded design. And we'll click this girl loves her pug and you see it gets placed on the front of the shirt. You're going to want to avoid the back it really kills your margin. It costs an extra five bucks. Okay. We go to the next step and this is where you see all the products. Okay. And you see in the blue font over here, your cost $6 this is the cost that it's going to uh, cost you to get this done. Here's your $6 shirt. So we're going to press add product. And let's say we wanted to add other things. For example, tank tops and hoodies. We could just click add product. 
right? I'm just going to show one right now. We'll just build the t-shirt, but we could add multiple products. Okay. And I'll show you some of the other cool products that they have in here, right? They have pants, sweatpants, wind pants, dress shirts, right? They have work apparel, aprons, lab coats, uh, you know, scrubs, right? All this great stuff. Imagine if you had a nurse store, right? You'd be able to do custom scrubs, tons of different hats. They even have Nike hats, Adidas hats, like legit brands, uh, bags, blankets, right? All these crazy things. Uh, they even have like a onesie, right? Towels, beach towels, pet accessories, right? Dog bowls, dog leashes, uh, every single phone case you could ever imagine, right? All these products are available right inside of Custom Cat. So we have the t-shirt selected and we're going to click review to go on to the last step. And now we're going to actually see our t-shirt design placed on top of our t-shirt, right? This t-shirt does not exist anywhere. This is just a visual representation of this t-shirt. And this is what people are going to be able to buy in our store. So first thing we need to do, come over here. We'll set a title. It's called This Girl Loves. We're going to set a price, $22.99 for our selling price. Now you see that we have a little red outline over this gray. Anything that has a red outline, and I've unclicked it to deselect it, anything with a red outline is going to be added to our store. So we want to definitely add black, right? We want to definitely add red. We want to definitely add royal blue and definitely add navy. Okay, those are the, the four most popular colors. You're going to make up about 95% of your sales. Black, navy, red, and royal. So we're going to add all four of those styles on here. Okay, you see anything with a red border is going to get added. Okay, <coughs> we add our price. We set our title, we set our colors. Last thing we need to do is press export to, and this is going to actually build the product inside of our Shopify store, right? This is going to be the first product on our store. And remember, because Shopify is fully set up out of the box and the integration is already made, right? We're, the way that we're uh, setting this product up, it's integrated in custom CAD and Shopify system. This purchase, or I'm sorry, this product is now ready to be bought and it's ready to be done with t-shirt print on demand, right? It says your product has now been imported into Shopify. We come over here and look at our store, right? And here's our first product, right? Literally, our first product is now in here. We could go ahead and purchase it, set the size, right? Pick the uh, uh, color, right? You see all the mock-ups that are available right now. And literally, we can go and add to cart. We can literally add this product to cart right now. You see the, the color, right? The, the proper uh, mock-up here, the navy shirt, the size, the price, et cetera, et cetera, right? You have the entire site set up, ready to go, fully automated, right? And this store is less than an hour old. Right. This store is literally less than an hour old. We can go ahead and buy this product right now. Right. We can literally go ahead and check out with PayPal or check out here with credit card or Apple Pay fully set up out of the box. Right. Fully set up out of the box. Guys, this is how easy it is to get your store set up. Right. Scott said this is crazy in, in a great way. And it totally is. Right. You could literally have your store set up in an hour. You could be making sales in the next hour. We have we've had people who've joined the boot camp, made their first sale within 21 hours. That's the record right now. 21 hours after joining the boot camp, made their first sale. Right. That's the power of T-shirt print on demand. That's the power of Shopify. Right. You're taking a digital design file. You're taking this little 20 kilobyte image file on my PC. This could be a six or seven figure asset. Right. And uh, Terry asked, thirty-seven dollars per design. Yes, that's the that's the uh, the members only price. Right. It's going to be probably a bit more expensive on the open market. Right. You want to shoot for under seventy dollars for a T-shirt design. Okay. You get it for thirty-seven dollars. When you join the boot camp, again, inside the boot camp over here, camp.justincener.com, definitely check this out. Check out all of the great uh, uh, features that you're getting with the boot camp. Okay. So next up on the list is marketing, right? How are we going to do marketing for these products, right? How are we going to get people to come to our website? Because you see, it's very easy to get the website set up. It's very easy to get a custom looking site. It's very easy to get our first product in the store, fully ready to go with print on demand. So really the hard part about this business, and that's why about 55% of the videos inside the t-shirt bootcamp are all about the marketing, right? It's all about Facebook ads, okay? So a couple of different things that you need to do for Facebook ads, okay? Number one, you need to have a Facebook ads account, obviously. That's going to be over there at facebook.com slash ads, okay? Facebook.com slash ads, totally free to create. And you're going to want to definitely, uh, obviously, create your own uh, ads account before you get started here, okay? Prerequisite number two, you need to have a fan page, okay? You need to have a fan page in your, or I'm sorry, on your, uh, 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 instead of your personal profile, right? You need to have a fan page, okay? And uh, very important there, okay? Very important that you're going to have a fan page. Or you can't run Facebook ads without a fan page, okay? So facebook.com slash page would allow you to then go ahead and open up your fan page. I'm just going to show you a real basic example of a fan page that I have here, okay? <coughs> so you have your Facebook ads account, and then you have your Facebook 
page, okay? And on your Facebook page is going to be where your Facebook ads sit. And here's the real important thing to notice about Facebook ads. Everyone in here already knows how to do 50% of the work for a Facebook ad. All a Facebook ad is is a status update on a fan page, right? You see the AAA Shirts fan page here. This is just a test fan page, right? And here you see an actual ad, right? But this is no different than a status update, right? It's just text, a link, and an image, right? You've definitely shared links on Facebook before. You've definitely uploaded images on Facebook before. And in fact, this template you'll be able to download inside of the T-shirt bootcamp members area. You could actually copy and paste all my high converting ad copy, my uh, high converting ad templates, my product templates, all that. And that's going to be accessible inside the members area of the T-shirt bootcamp. Okay. So this is what a Facebook ad looks like, right? This is 50% of a Facebook ad. The other 50% is the real challenging part, right? And we need a lot more than just this hour webinar to kind of go over that. That's why, again, more than half of the videos in the bootcamp are all about Facebook ads, right? But that's where you're going to make all your money, right? As soon as you master Facebook ads or as quickly as you can master Facebook ads, and you're definitely going to master Facebook ads when you go through my program, right? We have over, over half of the program, tons and tons of videos about, you know, basically all about Facebook ads. Once you master that business, I'm sorry, once you master that aspect, you're going to have huge upside in this business, right? <laughs> huge upside. And the main thing to remember here is that nothing to be overwhelmed by whatsoever. Everyone here already knows how to do 50% of the work for a Facebook ad. Again, it's just a status update right? The other half of it is done inside of your facebook.com slash ads account. Okay. Facebook.com slash ads, open the account, facebook.com slash page, create your page and you're good to go. Okay. And that's all there is to it in, in terms of this business guys, right? That's all there is to it in terms of this incredible business, how to sell millions of dollars in t-shirts. I just taught you how to get started in literally under 90 minutes, right? It's actually about about an hour, right? About an hour's worth of work so far. This website, I think we actually published the trial of the website about 55 minutes ago, right? 55 minutes of work. We have a fully customized site, right? Not only is it fully customized, it's fully integrated with t-shirt print on demand, right? It's fully ready to go. If someone wants to go ahead and purchase this product right now, right? They literally could buy this product right now, fully integrated with print on demand. Guys, it's that easy, right? It's that easy and it's that powerful, right? This business is incredibly powerful. I showed you some of the testimonials over there. We'll, we'll head back to the... Uh, the bootcamp page, right? We're talking about massive upside, right? We're talking about people that have ch completely changed their life. Listen to my, my video over there, right? People that have literally changed their life by implementing what's in this program. You can watch some of these videos. You can take a look at some of these testimonials, right? We have Tim, uh, his little testimonial over here with the real results. He's doing $25,000 a month now. So Vam doing thousands of dollars a day. Now just over two weeks into the program, Olaf, $161,000 a month using Shopify, following the steps in the bootcamp. I told you about Cobb on vacation, Jake doing $900 days, uh, Lorenzo doing $1,000 days. $1,000 days, if you do the math, that's $3 million a year, right? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not right. That's $365,000 a year. Sorry. Uh, $3,000 a day would equate to about a million dollars a year. So right over here, $1,000 a day, that's $365,000 a year, right? That's life-changing money, right? You're about 300000 over here. He did 160000 in one month. We're not talking about pocket change here, guys. This is life-changing money. This is a life-changing business, right? And you can watch the videos. You see Michael over here doing $100,000 every month. You see Sean doing thirty to $50,000 a month. Uh, you see over here, Jew joined the boot camp. She was doing, or he was doing about $200 or 200 euros a day. Joined the boot camp, gained $10,000 in revenue in two weeks, right? This is the power of the boot camp. You see Nicole found life-changing results. You see Sebastian doing $2,100 a day. Austin doing $1,000 days. You see Diedrich over here, $10,000 or $11,000 in his first month right? <clears throat> Give me a one in the chat box if $10,000 a month would change your life, right? I, I don't care who you are. $10,000 a month is life changing money, right? I see ones from everyone, right? $10,000 a month. Again, we're not talking about pocket change. We're not talking about adding 50, $100 to your revenue. This is life changing money, right? This is the best lifestyle business out there because if you follow the strategies that are in the bootcamp right? and you're looking at the bootcamp page right here, justincener.com slash bootcamp, this is a business that could take you one or two hours a day. You could have these type of results, right? Again, you're going to get this awesome bonus package as well. If you get in before the countdown, strike zero. You got a single pay, nine ninety seven. You got a split pay, two payments of five ninety seven. Costs you a little bit more, but you can get in for a cheaper rate today. But uh, you definitely want to check this out, guys. Just imagine, right? Imagine waking up and seeing these type of results: hundred fifty thousand dollars over seven days. This is actually just last month, right? Thirty thousand dollars in one day, right? In today's revenue, thirty thousand dollars, eight hundred orders, right? Five hundred thousand dollars in thirty days, right? The t-shirt business. With Shopify, by far the best business model that's out there right now. And I'm going to teach you how to master it fully inside this t-shirt bootcamp, guys. So this is my entire presentation for you guys, right? 
I really hope that it was beneficial. I hope I kind of captivated you. I hope I excited you about the t-shirt print on demand business. I want to open it up to question and answer right now. It doesn't have to be just about the boot camp. Ask me any questions you want about this great business. Really want to uh, challenge you, right? Even if you don't join the boot camp, take what I taught you today. If you paid attention to what I showed you during this webinar, you could have your six or seven figure t-shirt print on demand store up and running this week, right? That's my challenge. And if you're going to take me up on that challenge, I want to hear from you. Go ahead and post in my free group, you have my senior Shopify mastermind group. I love to kind of uh, 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 kind of keep you accountable, right? If you're going to go and actually go ahead and take care or, or take me up on this great challenge, go ahead and post in my free group over here, senior Shopify mastermind. If you're not in this group, you got to definitely be in this group in here for sure. This is uh, uh, just a massive asset. There's about 15,000 members in here. I don't answer every single question just because they're are just way too many posts, but definitely try to answer as many as I can. So great asset being in here. But again, I'm challenging you right now, right here and right now, you have zero excuse to not get into this incredible business model. Zero excuse. I showed you everything you need to know to get your store up and running this week. So take me up on this challenge. You could literally change your life because of it, right? And it's going to cost you $0 out of pocket, right? Here's that 21 day extended free trial for Shopify. And here's the 30 day extended free trial for custom cat. Right. And you combine that again with the strategies here in the boot camp, you'll prove out this entire business within the first 10 or 14 days. OK, it's that powerful. OK, so I see some great questions. Now. I'm going to open up two questions here. But before I do that, let me see some eights in the chat box. If I uh, if I really excited you about this business, if you learned something, if I kept you entertained for this past hour and a half, let me see those eights in the chat box. I want to make sure that this was really beneficial for you guys. And I really appreciate all the interactivity that you guys were doing, all the questions that you guys have been posting. I'm going to make sure that I answer them all. Right now, and I see uh, 10.7 trillion eights from Kevin, and uh, Yasmin gave me 700,000 eights, and Sean put 362,000 eights in the chat box. Uh, Terry only put one eight. I guess Terry isn't really that excited, but Terry, I'm just messing with you. Everyone's putting eights in the chat box, and everyone should be, guys, because really, it's the best business model out there, and I just showed you how to get started in it, uh, you know, literally tonight, and Rodney gives me infinity, <coughs> infinity of eights. I guess that's probably the most I can get there, Rodney. So thank you. So really, guys, appreciate you spending some time with me today. I hope that you really learned a lot. And more than anything else, I hope you take me, uh, uh, take me up on this challenge, really, and get your store started. Okay. So uh, let me take uh, a look at some of the questions. Uh, Christina says, do you think grandparents and sports moms could, could be combined into one store? Uh, I don't believe so. I think those would be two different niches. I think you'd give yourself a real disadvantage if you were to combine those into one store. Now, don't get me wrong. You could definitely have sports grandmas and sports aunts and all that under your sports mom store. But if you're having just a generic grandma store, I think that deserves to be on a different uh, category. Okay. Hopefully that uh, was uh, helpful for you. Uh, and Christina says, I'm going to join the bootcamp on Friday. That's awesome, Christina. You'll definitely be able to get in. You'll still grab that bonus package. So can't wait to see you in there. Uh, let's see. Uh, Terry says, are your successful students doing multiple stores? Absolutely. Right. This is a totally scalable model. Once you have one store, and I don't suggest opening multiple stores until you master one. But once you open up one store then by all means have multiple stores running, right? It's very, very easy to do that because these are not going to be eight hour a day jobs, right? You could have multiple stores running and it's, uh, you know, all about the same process, the same strategies. So again, you master one, then you move on to more, right? And that's a very powerful strategy. That's where you can make some serious money every single month. Imagine if you had multiple stores running at six figures, right? Then we're talking about some serious cash, okay? Uh, yeah, you're very welcome. I'm glad that helped. Uh, let's see. Can you mix different print-on-demand partners into one Shopify store? Uh, that's a great question, Lewis. You absolutely can, right? Now, I think Custom Cat is going to pretty much give you everything that you need, but Custom Cat doesn't do mugs right now. They don't do canvas prints. Those are both hot products for print-on-demand, so you could use another supplier to do that. Shopify is smart enough to understand that there could be multiple uh, suppliers. It will basically send off the order details based on the product supplier, right? So Custom Cat, if they're supplying the T-shirt and let's say um, Viral Style is supplying the mug, then Custom Cat will do the t-shirt the part, part of it and uh, Viral Style will do the mug part of it. Does that make sense? Okay, great, great. Uh, let's see. How many designs do you think we need to get started? Uh, only three, right? You only need to have three products in your store to get started, right? And basically, uh, we go over this in the starting strategies, the sample starting strategies video inside the t-shirt bootcamp, but you wanna start with three, right? You'll do three, you'll do your initial testing, um, and basically have my testing phase, you know, it takes about 10 to 14 days and we'll figure out everything that we need to know about the niche, but you don't need to go crazy. Three t-shirts to start is definitely fine. Um, you basically, I mean, two would even be fine, but I, I just like calling it three. Just have a couple different products on the site for upselling, cross-selling, etc. Okay. But you don't need to have 50 things to start your store, right? I've sold 
plenty of products to a brand new store where there's only three products in the store. Okay, so three is the number to start. Um, <coughs> let's see. Uh, can, uh, can you talk more about design? Can you use an illustration of Darth Vader? Absolutely not, right? You're not allowed to use anything with trademarks, right? That's the big, the, uh, you know, a, a definitive no-no in this business. No trademarks, no trademark infringement, no uh, Darth Vader, no Star Wars, no sports teams, no Walking Dead, right? You, you might see those on your newsfeed. That doesn't mean that it's the correct way to do it. It doesn't mean that that's the legal way to do it, okay? You're not allowed to do anything with copyright trade, trademark infringement, okay? None of the designers inside the boot camp will do anything that would put you at risk for trademark infringement. Uh, let's see, Scott says, if you were looking at a sub-niche, <coughs> can you combine that with one general store? And his uh, example is the... Uh, <coughs> The doodle breed, like golden doodles, labradoodles. Um, in that case, you could definitely do sub niches, right? So you'd have a, a basically your your main niche would be doodles, and your sub niches would be the, uh, the basically the other breeds. Like you could even do that for dogs, right? You could have a dog store, right? Have a dog store, and then you could have a section for pugs, and a section for pit bulls, and a section for dalmatians, and a section for collies, and a section for German shepherds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? So uh, in sub niches, you'll you'll definitely be able to have a kind of combination of a uh, uh, niche sub niche store but let's say you're doing something like uh, tennis right you're not going to be having tennis and golf and <coughs> baseball all in the same store <coughs> hopefully that makes sense uh let's see um are you against having physical products <coughs> excuse me <coughs> are you against having physical products on the print on demand store for example bracelets and typical AliExpress items. No, I want to have both. <coughs> Every single one of my print on demand stores is also going to have dropship items on the store. There's no doubt about it. Right. But I'd much rather sell my t-shirt products because it's much easier. Right. Once you're done, once you make a sale, you're done. Right. That's obviously not the case with dropshipping. There's a lot of work to be done after you do a dropshipping sale. And in fact, if you're interested in learning more about dropshipping for Shopify, you can take a look at this link on your screen, start.justincener.com. It's a brand new dropshipping training, kind of similar to this webinar, except instead of t-shirts, we talk all about automating the dropshipping side of things. Okay, so every big store, <clears throat> every single big store will have both <clears throat> or should have both t-shirt and dropshipped items. Okay, it's really a no-brainer, right? You definitely want to have both in there. Uh, okay, Fred says, so I mentioned of design size being 5,400 by 4,500. Uh, I have not seen that, right? You just want to be over 2,400 pixels in size, right? Custom Cat, they're going to do a good job of upconverting all your imagery to make sure that it's sharp, that it's going to print correctly. So you want it to be 2,400 pixels in <clears throat> uh, whatever the biggest dimension, 2,400 pixels would be that dimension, okay? You don't need to be 5,400. That's way too big. Uh, are motivational memes a good niche? Uh, I don't believe that, <coughs> well, motivational quotes could be, right? And not necessarily memes, but like I think you're talking about like motivational sayings and like things to like inspire entrepreneurs. That's definitely a good niche, right? Definitely a ton of ways to target that on Facebook ads. <clears throat> so I would definitely say that's a great one to jump into. Uh, is it necessary to use T-Spy? It's not necessary at all, right? You don't have to use it, but it's just going to make your life a lot easier, right? It's going to make your life a lot easier um, to look at everything inside that one big database. Otherwise, you're going to have to go through all the other sites <clears throat> like uh, <clears throat> Teespring and Facebook and Pinterest and Google. And the issue there is that you're not going to see any sales data, right? That's the, uh, the big thing, right? Okay, let's see. Sean says, what's the biggest success story that you have inside the boot camp? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. I guess we've had people that have definitely hit seven figures uh, in a year. Um, we've had some people doing three, four, five hundred thousand in a month. I guess that's probably the biggest. But ju just to give you a sense of <clears throat> of the uh, uh, the breadth and the the size of of um, testimonials that we have here, I just want to show you this uh, folder that I have. This is my folder of all of my testimonials for the boot camp, right? And you can see boot camp, 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 boot camp. I can go on and on and on and on and on. Look at all these boot camp testimonials, right? I save all these. These are these are posts from my group, my private mastermind group, where people basically give their updates in terms of what's going on. And <clears throat> I actually showed you uh, John earlier. I showed you his hundred thousand dollar month on the uh, the boot camp sales page. But look at his progression in between, right? Showed you he did started with twenty four dollars his first sale right then he started progressing right he was doing 
over here. I did $500 in a week. Then he did $1,000 in a day. Then he did $1,700 in a day. He did $8,000 in a week, and he got all the way up to $107,000, right? So <clears throat> that's just for one month. <clears throat> Excuse me, one month. So you could see, you know, again, I have way more uh, testimonials than I could ever go through in one webinar. But, um, you know, we definitely have people doing six and seven figures over here, six figures a month. And we have people that have literally just started, right? We have people who have just started making their first sales, people who have never sold a single penny online <clears throat> selling their uh, 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 first sales online. And that's a great feeling, right? And this is why the boot camp is so powerful. You see we're in alphabetical order. I've been scrolling down here. We're only at M, right? I mean, literally boot camp, boot camp, boot camp, boot camp, boot camp, nonstop all these testimonials. And again, 300 plus testimonials inside the bootcamp, that speaks volumes to the fact that this is a world-class training program, right? You will find most coaches ditching their products every single month and starting a new one, right? I've been focused on this product for almost a year. I've supported this product for almost a year. I've fully updated this product just a few weeks ago, so it's fully relevant for all the changes that I've gone through this year in Facebook, right? Best training program that's out there. So I guess I would say probably, you know, uh, the biggest result, seven figures. But, uh, you know, the thing I'm really uh, most proud about is, uh, you know, like I said, over 300 student success stories, right? 300 students changing their life or lives because they joined the boot camp, okay? So I'm going to take a couple more questions and then I'm going to sign off here. And again, I really appreciate you guys spending some time with me here today. And I see Fred says, would a Facebook business account be a little bit better? Uh, I, I like using Facebook business accounts. It's not a requirement, but you could do business.facebook.com and create a business account instead of using a personal ads account. Either way, you're still going to need to have a fan page. So no one's ever going to see your personal information. So if you're worried about that, they're both going to do the same. Business manager is what Facebook would prefer you to use. So you'll see that at business.facebook.com. Really more important uh, when you want to start opening more stores. You need a business manager for that. Uh, I'm sorry, a business account. Uh, okay. Do you generally notice a spike of sales in quarter four? Absolutely. I mean, we're talking about the holiday rush. You could do, uh, let's say the three weeks between uh, Black Friday and basically the cutoff to ship things out to your customer. You could do more sales in that three week period than you could do in an entire uh, three month period if you scale correctly, right? I've had some students <coughs> um, between November, let's call it November 20th and December 14th, which was the cutoff this year for t-shirt print on demand. They did over $200,000. I guess that's probably the biggest that I saw just in that three-week period, right? $200,000 in a three-week period. I think he actually posted the testimonial in my free group. You can go and check it out, right? But literally, uh, Q4 is always the best time of the year. But don't get me wrong. I mean, we're making significant money all 12 months of the year where we're bringing out six-figure months every single month. And sure, some months are better than others, right? January and February are typically a little slow, right? But otherwise, so, you know, all months, uh, 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 people are buying shirts and apparel and print-on-demand products all times of the year. Of course, people are buying a lot more during that holiday rush. Uh, can you start a Shopify store as an individual and later switch to an LLC? Yeah, absolutely. You could totally do that. It would basically be called being a sole proprietor. You don't need an LLC or anything like that. I personally like LLCs, but I think a great strategy is getting started in this business, seeing if it's going to work for you. And then once it does, then you can go and spend the money to open up a business. Okay, you don't need to start it with that. Okay, uh, do you cover dark posts in the T-shirt bootcamp? Absolutely, Rodney. They're not as important as they used to be, but I definitely show you how to create uh, dark posts. They've changed then they actually call them ad posts now. They're not called dark posts anymore. They're called ad posts. But uh, I do show you that inside the uh, the power editor inside of the uh, the ads manager for bootcamp. Or, I mean, I show you that thing in the bootcamp. Uh, how's the quality of custom cat shirts? Uh, they have first of all, they have like uh, fifty different shirt styles, so you could pick uh, whichever quality you want. But they're six dollar shirt. You're never going to get any complaints there, right? Totally, uh, uh, it's a great product. You're not going to have any complaints. High quality. Um, it's basically like a, like a Fruit of the Loom. They use Gildan. Gildan is the brand. It's equivalent to Fruit of the Loom um, or a Hanes type shirt. It's your typical kind of nice, heavy cotton shirt, right? It's not a thin, cheap shirt. It's not anything like that. You're not going to get any uh, complaints about quality. I, I know that. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully that answers any questions on quality. Custom cat. But here, here's the, 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 the thing about uh, a print on demand, right? Apart from price and catalog, everything is the same. They all use the same printers. They all have the same technology. They all have the same setup. All the apps are pretty much the same thing. You're going to basically look for the company that you're going to make the most money with, and that's why everyone uses Custom Cat, right? Custom Cat, by far the best option that's out there. Okay, and again, you can get that 30-day free trial over here, cc.justinsenior.com. Okay, so I saw a couple of you guys had uh, joined the boot camp during today's webinar. Congrats on getting in. I'm going, to join, I'm going to add you into that private mastermind group as soon as I log off of this webinar. I really appreciate you uh, taking action and jumping in. If you're on the fence right now, Go ahead and check out this link highlighted on your screen again, camp.justinsenior.com. See all the features, see all the benefits, see what you're going to uh, be able to kind of do once you get into the boot camp. And uh, again, jump right in with, uh, with full confidence because 
300 plus testimonials, strategies that I use not only for my own stores, not only for my high profile influencer stores, but for all my student stores, right? These are the actual strategies that are working right now. This is what you're going to find inside the t-shirt bootcamp. So again, by far the best program out there for t-shirt print on demand. You're going to master Shopify. You're going to master t-shirts. You're going to master working with designers. And most importantly, you're going to master Facebook ads, a skill set that is just incredibly valuable in today's day and age. So again, camp.justincener.com. Check out the bootcamp. Would love to see you inside the group. And really, I, uh, I certainly appreciate you guys spending some time with me joining this webinar. Hope you gained a lot from it and I will talk to you real soon.